Hello fellow spuds and welcome back to Terra Firmacraft Plus. So as you can see I've done quite a lot of work off camera. I've worked on making the farm a lot neater I guess and fenced it all up. So right now this is all just all the crops I've got going. This bit what I'm going to do eventually once I've got my hunger a bit up is I'm going to hoe all this down and basically get it get it ready for fallow. So I've added a little add-on to the side of the barn. I think it looks all right. I'm hoping it's big enough. This is going to be our kind of horse pen. I have expanded... That's not right. <laughs> I've expanded the... Oh. Ah, oh, I'm going to have to fix that. So I've fixed the cow bit so it's a bit bigger. So it will come round to here. However... The horse is going to have to move. So I'm probably going to do that at some point in this episode. The Ibex, don't know what to do with them. They're... Hmm. I don't have the oats to do anything with them, really. See, I didn't have enough oats to familiarise the cow enough. Although I can, I can milk it. But it's not familiarised. So I don't quite know what happened there. But I managed to get one goat to gold. Where are you? There you go. So we've got a golden goat, uh, sorry, not goat, sheep, the mouflon, that one is nearly gold, one more feed and it will be, I think the other one is a couple of feeds off, so we, we're getting there, but this episode what I think we're going to do is, I never actually fired up the clay, I thought I did, but apparently it didn't actually, it didn't actually fire up, I don't really know why. Yeah, so not quite sure what happened there. But that's what we're going to do this episode is I'm going to do a lot of ceramic vessels and stuff, like the large ones. So I'm going to get prepared for doing a few other bits. Off camera, I also got some charcoal. What you don't see is what I did do, which I forgot to do last time. Although I don't know if I had a chisel last time I did a charcoal pit. Can't remember. I put a hopper and underneath that a barrel. And if you do that underneath a charcoal charcoal pit, uh, bear with me. I've put it down here. You get pitch. So pitch is really kind of useful. I will try and see. Oh, I haven't. My skin hasn't loaded. I'm sorry. Don't know why that's that's the case. I will get that sorted next episode. So pitch. You can make torches out of it just by. Chucking a stick in there, which makes it a hell of a lot more useful than getting the resin and straw for it. Or what you can do is you can make leather bags and you can make water skins. These, and you just combine it with a horn tip, these are amazing. So they're like a ceramic vessel, but I, they hold a ceramic water, water jug. But they hold more and you don't have to drink it all in one go. So if you if you fill up your thirst before this empties it will kind of retain some of some of the water that was left in there if that makes any sense but we're going to try and do that at some point today how much leather do we have i think we've got quite a lot if i can find it there 13 leathers so we've got loads now we've also got these horns i just there we go that's how you make the tips you just combine it with a knife and now we've got a blowing horn there we go <laughs> Lovely. Anyway, that's not what I'm meant to be doing this episode. This episode... Oh yeah, I also made a bridge. Finally. It's it's not done. <laughs> I'm going to put some wood logs or something just to neaten it up a bit. But it, it does the job. So this episode... It's going to be a bit of a weird one. Just because it's a bit... It's a bit of filler between me... Getting to the steel stage and making a... A blast furnace and doing anything else i like i can't breed any cows do anything because i have no oats it's just got to spring so what i'm thinking is i'm going to make a saddle finally for the horse and i'm going to take it on a little bit of a test drive i think so let's chuck that in there chuck that in there and where's the we got the leather don't we we then need that we then need some of you and let's do this thing. So, there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
Right, let's chuck that in there, chuck that in there. I think I also need a leash. We'll take all of them just in case I find anything interesting. Um, don't need all this leather. I was going to make something else with you. What was I going to make? That's what I was going to do, right. Uh, leather bag pieces is what I was planning on doing. There we go, right. Let me just sew them together. Okay, that's fine. Make two of them. And I'll be back in a sec once I've made these. Right, I'm back. So, we've got ourselves a couple of leather bags. Ah. Okay, I didn't know it was instant. Oh, that's cool. Right, let's go back up. And they just need those horn pieces. And then we've got ourselves a couple water skins. Boom. Right, I'll go demonstrate quickly. Oh, where's the door before the night sets in? So I'm, I was meant to mention, I've changed the audio settings slightly and also the video settings. So I hope it's a little bit better than before. Um, let me know if it is or isn't and I can easily change that. As you saw, it instantly filled up my thirst bar. Annoyingly, I didn't, I forgot to demonstrate <laughs> the, how empty it is. But I'll, um, I'll show you in the morning when I have a quick drink. I have a quick drink. That fills up. And normally with the ceramic vet jug, what would happen is that would just be empty. However, you can see the little durability bar at the bottom. That shows how full it is. So we've still got a pretty much full water skin. So this means traveling wise, we've got like we can just travel anywhere now. It's great. Let's get that done. And we need to equip you with a saddle. How do we do this then? Is that how it is that how you do it? And it just it just kicked me off. Hmm. Maybe I need an empty hand now. There we go. Okay, that's how you do it. Come on. No, you have to just hold, have a leash in your hand and right click. And eventually, I think... Keep trying. And eventually... <laughs> I think some hearts appear or something and it will just let you ride it. Come on. I think this is how you actually just tame it properly in this. Right. You done now? Seem to be done. There we go. I think that's it. Okay, right. So, oh, I get it. Right. The controls are different now. So you press, if you press W once, it moves. Oh, come on. If you move W once, it moves a little bit. It like does a little trot. And the more times you press W, it goes into more of a sprint. Or, you, or do you hold it? Oh, you hold it. Okay. Oh, this is very fast. <laughs> this is cool, though. Right. Right, horsey. Where are we going? Okay, we're going south, apparently. <gasps> Carrots! Stop! Stop. Right. Get off you. Grab the carrots. We've actually got some food. Because, <laughs> I don't know if you notice, I've been, I've basically been off-camera, I've had no food. I've been living off scallops which give you next to no hunger back for the last <laughs> few days of off camera oh but i do spice some deer right no. come on i'm back go get those deer oh uh bit of lag bit of lag stop right it's just Slaughter some deer. Oh, dude. That's enough food for now. Oh. Let me, why don't you let me on? Oh, does it need to be a empty hand? Right, okay. Chuck them in there. There, right. Carry on south then, I guess. Let's go. I can't believe how lucky we've been in this playthrough so far, finding Canaanite, Graphite, everything pretty close to the base. We haven't had to go far at all, really. 
Although this makes traveling so much easier. Oh, okay. Jump. There we go. Although we are probably going to start lagging at some point. Hang on, stop. Like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was just spamming the S button to stop. Oh my god. Um, right, horse steady. Alright, stop, 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 stop. Slow it yourself. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay. Let me off. Because we've got wheat. It's, it's, I, I think it uses slightly different nutrition to oats. But, so it's not the biggest deal in the world, but it's always nice to have a bit of variety. We could always section off wheat, wheat for our consumption and oats for the animals, I guess. Something like that. But it's not not too bad. Where's the horse gone? Right. That was... Oh, you're lucky we didn't die, horse. Oh, it's, it's the only problem with horses is the lag you get when you're <laughs> when you're riding them. Right. Stop. 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 Okay, we could go left or right. I'm thinking right. Go. Right. At a at a gentle pace. Don't want to fly off the edge of a cliff. Ooh, gooseberry bushes. That's, that's, that's new. Got a feeling that we're coming up to a different stone type. Ooh, and fruit. We haven't had fruit in months. Nami, 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 nom. I don't think I need that axe. Let's go with that axe. Um, we can always make another hoe. I'll do. Right. Come on, horsey. No. Horsey. Listen to me. There we go. Oh, okay. I don't want that axe. What? Granite. We're in granite. Calm down. Calm down, horsey. Calm down. God. You're so... Oh, no. Go. Okay. Right. Granite. There we go. Okay, that's a big cliff, horsey. It's a bit too big. Oh god, no. Hmm. I want to see what the secondary rock type was, but I don't think it's worth it. Could risk it and jump into the river, but I don't really want to die. And I don't want my horse to die, because he's already lost a bit of health. Even just from jumping, then. Oh, okay, and we might die on the way back home, so. Let's do a steady pace. Jump up the mountain, jump up the mountain. Oh! No, Aussie, no! I'm gonna be so impressed if I manage to get back alive. <laughs> well, I think we're gonna have to retire the horse for a little bit. Not retire as in put down, <laughs> retire as in. He's going to have to rest for a week to recover because, yeah, it's not its not going to be ideal if he dies or nearly <gasps> oh, If he nearly dies every time. Okay, we're at the holy floating rock. We're fine. We're, we're home. It's okay. <laughs> All okay. We're nearly home. I don't know if there's actually a plant there. Okay. Oh, okay. I nearly died then. Right, horse, you stay there. Because I'm nearly dead as well, which I didn't realise. Right, off to bed. Right. So. <laughs> I don't really know where to begin with that. That was... That was crazy. Uh, that's... Um, I don't think we're going to need these. Uh, that's hang up. Hang up some of this meat. There we are. Finish off the gooseberries. Lovely. And. Yeah, it was this cab. It looked like cabbage is growing. I don't know, though. It could be anything. It is cabbages. Right. Okay, so it looks like stuff has just started. New, the new crops have just spawned in. Yeah, because we've got some over here as well. 
Okay, cool. So cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. It's all going to be cabbages again like it was before, isn't it? I don't know. I wonder whether like certain crops have just a tendency to regrow in the same biome. Because we found loads of cabbages around this area when we first kind of settled here. So I'm wondering whether cabbages will just always... Yeah, there's one over there. Or the cabbage will just always regrow in this area and we won't find anything else. Be interesting to know, because that's that's that'll be quite cool. Right. A quick drinky. Lovely. So we've had a fairly well, I guess unsuccessful. <laughs> unsuccessful ride, I guess. Um I'm worried if I get you out because yeah, the problem is I'm just riding him out and I'm just suffocating on on this. Uh, let's take the lead off, maybe. Can I just lead him out of here? Come on. Oh, you should be able to come out. Come on. Okay, fine. Get rid of that. Okay, now you should be able to come out. Come on, there. You're going to stay in here now. <laughs> Until you've healed. God knows when that's going to be. Good horse. Right, yeah, you you just focus on healing. Oh, you're all crazy. Crazy things. When do the... I need to fix that road. When do the... Pi... When are the pigs due? Look. 8th of May. Ooh, not long. Only a couple of days. Hopefully next episode. It'll be great. Right, so we need to actually do something this episode because so far we've done a little short trip south and achieved absolutely nothing. Apart from getting carrots and a few gooseberry bushes. I will plant now. So. Oh, we've actually got gooseberries though, which is nice. Lovely. Could use them for berry wine, but I'm too hungry. So, 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 so. We were going to make ceramic vessels. That's what we were going to do. Right at the beginning of the episode, and I completely forgot. So let's grab some of this. We're going to need all of these. Oh, way. Yeah, I think off camera what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab a hell of a lot of gravel. Um, and finish off doing this road because it is frustrating because I, I just always naturally chucked gravel away because I didn't think it was needed, I guess. What I didn't realise is you need it for roads, which I don't ever normally make. So, well, I believe we then need... Now, I don't know the recipe for this, so I'm going to have to look it up. We need a trowel. I can't remember the last time I ever made a trowel. Eh, where are you, trowel? Trowel, trowel, trowel. Is that, was that the trowel? There we go. So, six. Okay, cool. Need that, and then we need to fire up. Uh, I guess some... Oh, we don't have enough for that. Maybe I'll do a one, two. Does it have to be twenty-five for uh for black bronze? No, it can be ten to. Oh, so it can't be thirty. Oh, that's annoying. But it could be sixty. Okay, so fine. So two, two, and then I need six. Oh, bit of a waste because I could make it out of anything, but. I can't. I can't be bothered to make a iron one because I, I'm probably barely going to use it just for the road. Right. Oh, I've got loads more ceramic vessels to do. Okay. Pop you in. Mm, yeah, not going to have any space. Fine. We need some more logs. Ah, we need some more logs. There we go. Logs are all in there. Let's fire this up. I guess. Another one of them. One. Right. So we got that cooking. 
while we're waiting for that to do, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finally make some homes for the bees now that it's spring. So, where's my straw at? In here. This is on it. So what you do is you make a little straw basket, which I never really see the point of early game. You can just pop them down, I think. Yeah, and they're like... Well, actually, I should utilise them more often. They're kind of like really basic chests. I just never think of using them. But the only time I use them is I do this. You combine it with a knife and boom. Beehives. So let's grab the fertile honeycomb that we we got earlier. We're going to place you near our crops, I think. Put you. Put one here. They they help speed up the growth of... Oh no, it's not crops, is it? It's um apple. It's like uh, fruit trees and things. If we put one here, I guess, because we've got olive. Why are you growing in the olive tree? Oh, you're so annoying. We'll pop you... We'll pop one down here. Pop one down here. What you do is you pop that in there, that in there, and then we need a hell of a lot of flowers. Right, so I'll be right back once I've got some flowers. Right, finally got some flowers. Why is it that you never want flowers, and then when you want some, there's never any around? So I thought, while we're here, let's just finally make a door. Because... There. <laughs> oh, I wish I'd got a different wood type. Oh, I'll, I'll change that at some point, but... Fine for the minute. So, grab the flowers. Just want to pop them down. Pop them down. Like, I found all of these underneath the, the holy floating rock. Like, of, of course it was there. <laughs> like, why would I think any differently? Of course there'll be a bunch of flowers underneath a floating rock. Plant these down. That should be plenty. So, after a while, I think it's normally every... Maybe it's like once a week or so, roughly, we'll get some honeycomb, which we can then process into honey and wax, which we can then do either make mead or we can use the wax to make candles and things. Which is one of the reasons I'm getting these large ceramic vessels going is that we can kind of make a fire like this, put the ceramic vessel over the top, and we can smelt down the wax. At the same time, we can also use it for alcohol making, so we siphon it off. Once we've got some mead, we can then distill it further and do that sort of thing. We can also do the same with the cider. We can that we, well, we need to make the cider that we've. It's currently apple juice at the moment. We need to get some more, some some actual fruit going. Which hope I don't know if we get any fruit in spring. I'm hoping we do. But oh, we get the we can get gooseberries. I should have saved some gooseberries. Could have get it from that. Yeah, I ate it all. That's a shame. Oh well. Right then. I'm sorry it was a bit of a nothing episode today. It's I was hoping it would be a bit more successful journey. I suppose not all our journeys can be that successful. But I could I get to show off what I've done. I'll probably carry on doing some bits off camera. And yeah, it's it's nice to finally get some bees up and running. What I'm thinking of doing is kind of outlining all of this, kind of making it a bit neater with andesite, making it look a bit more like an actual like an actual bay or something with a little ladders and stuff. I think that would be cute. Um off camera, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make some more iron. So I'm going to get the bloomery up and running, get some more. And yeah, we'll, I'll try and get some iron ready to make sheets and things so we can make a blast furnace. I will also position the crucible in place like I was meant to. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll... Uh, should I do that now? I could do that now, actually. Just just before the end of the episode. So I've got some something done of value. Get that done. Uh, let's just grab all the smooth andesite and bricks. Why not? We get to use our bridge. And this is done. Let's have a quick peek. There we go. So the bricks are done. We've got all these right vessels. Oh, that's... Let's get the trowel, just before I forget. Glad it was 100 units. I was worried for a second it was 200. All done. Now, is it... 
think it's like to the side or above. Yeah, it's above. Cool. So what I will just show off what you can do with the roads because I'm thinking andesite because we've got quite a lot of nice around. We need to get some mortar. Don't actually have a huge amount. Oh well. So. Right click. Go and let's get some andesite down so we can actually get some proper roads. Go. And Dunks fixed the height of these now, so it should work in doorways. Should have saved a bit of mortar actually to do it. Yeah, that's significantly faster. That's nice. I like that. It's not nice as andesite. Oh, there's. <laughs> that was a rock pun. Oh, God. Right, let's get this forge. Uh, this uh, crucible up and running. Be back in a sec. Right, got the forge going, and we'll pop the crucible down. Hooray! We've actually got it working. Right, so that's that's something today. Let's fix that roof as well. It's been driving me nuts. Right, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like what we see, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, any feedback you can give me would be great, just so I'm starting up the channel. So, next episode, I am going to actually work on doing some more iron works, probably going to make some more tools out of iron, do a few other bits and bobs, make some sheets on our way to actually getting to the steel stage, which would be, um, steel age, not steel stage, which would be amazing. We also might touch upon using the ceramic vessels to do some stuff like uh, wax melts and things to make some candles just so we can actually light up our base and do a few other bits and bobs in the process. Um, if you've got any feedback or you'd like me to touch on anything or do anything for base, feel free to let me know. Um, I'd love to have any feedback just so that I can kind of expand and, and make make the base look nice and do some interesting things. Right, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.